Hi, it's Jess here from ijezza.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So this should be the final bit of making this um, paper bag journal. So I, this is the tutorial of how I made this one. So I did a flip through on this one. I then um, showed you how I made the cover. It's a paper bag uh, cover and I used my um, gel plate and acrylic paints and roller in to create this. There's a video on that. And then I did a video on um, putting all the pages together, decorating the tags, um, etc. Um, I did a separate video on the actual sewing in of the signatures and um, it got quite long. And uh, so um, this is the final part where I'm going to do, I hope it's the final part, um, I'm going to do the envelope flip insert and add the ribbon fastening and decorate the cover. So um, not sure whether or not the sewing in the signature is going to go in at the end. But I'll link them down below. But if you click on it and nothing happens, it hasn't been published yet. So there we go. So I showed you when I was um, picking the pages, the book where I got this sheet from. Same book here. Um, and I thought that was a... A nice um, image to go on there matches nicely that one and you know, I'm not convinced by this tag here I may change that I may not put it in at all I don't like the way it looks I might not bother with it it's annoying me when it doesn't really match up so that matches the front that I've used there it colours go nice with this, but yeah, no, that was annoying me. I'm taking it off. I think that looks better without. Uh, so, I wanted to, what I did before was I lined it. So in the other video, it is lined at the back. I lined it with music paper. Well, that looked quite nice. I am going to use that. Um, that's a that's a paper clip there. Which made that hard to get in and out. I just thought it was some decoration. So I'm going to use this map page. I like it. It's got that sort of purpley blue thought it went quite nice so that's that's what I'm doing uh, I think I'm gonna go for this busy bit so I might have to go a little bit up on it you're not gonna see that bit anyway so it don't really matter so yeah that's what we're gonna do so it is about 4 a.m. How many people watching me find themselves either watching YouTube at 4 a.m. or are they crafters and they find themselves crafting 4 a.m.? Blimmin' nuts. Literally haven't had a wink of sleep. I just, I just laid there for about two hours. And then in the end, just thought, what are you doing? So I've got my phone out, got the BBC News app. And I uh, just thought, that's really depressing. Let's get up and craft. So that's what I'm doing. So there we go. Just drawn round it so that I can uh, cut that out. And then... Um, so I'm going to take my long scissors. I'm going to go slightly inside these pencil lines so that it should fit 
crown into the envelope. If it doesn't, I'll just trim it a bit. Don't have to be exact. Okay, you're not going to see this pointy bit because. So I don't know why I'm that worried. Because it's going to be inside. But it's good to know if you're going to do it in a place where you are going to see it. Right, that needs a little bit more taking down there. If I was going to do this in an envelope where you see the flap, I would probably stick it down and cut round it. But as as that's not going to happen, then I'm not so bothered. Right, I'm going to just give this a little bit of a trim. Might need another little bit of a trim. You're actually only going to see that bit. And I like that. I think that's very nice. So, just going to glue this on there. Get me a little glue. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit. Just a little bit of this on for good measure. Not masses, but a bit. There we go. I'm going to use my bun folder. I'm not bothered about trimming that off because it's going to get stuck on the inside. Now, of course, I want to do a bit of inking. I will ink a little bit there because you will see a little bit. And I might take my brush and do a bit of that. And I might take my stencil and we'll do a bit around the envelope. That is perfect. What I'm doing. So we don't need this now. Uh, I think it might be easier to stick this on before it's stuck down. So I'm just gonna ink round the edge of this. I think that's all I want to do. Uh, yeah, that's going to go down in there. And that's going to go on the outside. So I think I do want to ink round the envelope as well. And before we stick it in, we're going to stick it in. Ties. Having a brown envelope was chosen because it was a brown paper bag. So yeah, that's why I chose that. Over the purple one, I did have a purple one, which you might have seen in the other video. I was amin and orin over using that one. So, there we go. Oh, put your finger in the ink, Jess. That's a really good move. That way up. 
Yep, might just do a little bit. Thinking that, right, we'll get this glued down. There we go. So that's ready to get stuck in. But before we stick it in, we're going to add our ties. So I've got this bit of black lace, which I thought would work. I have used it in, in the journal, uh, mainly on the front page there. And I used some on this tag here. Um, so I've got one side a bit longer than the other. They could do it in two strips. And all I did was I stuck it in there, stuck the envelope on top. So what will happen is we've got Short a bit to go around, be at the front for tying, and a longer bit to go around a couple of times and come to the front and tie. I think this piece is probably longer than necessary. I'll just add a bit of a, a guess. I used sari silk on the other one, but. I'm quite liking that. Yep, yeah, I've got quite a lot of black ribbon in there. I've got some purple, I've got some blues. Yeah, we're going for that. So I'm securing it under here. And between sandwiching it between these two bits here so could actually make my life much simpler just thought of this and I could secure it to this envelope flap and then so I'm going to use a bit of Fabri-Tac a bit more that ribbon to there yep and then I'm going to get some double-sided tape I think so it is well and truly secure this red line tape. Don't use red line tape very often. I don't use it because, I certainly don't use it in pockets and things because whatever you put in to the pocket can then get stuck on it. But this ain't going to have anything by it it's going to get stuck to the back of that so it's not really a problem just about to tear that it doesn't tear Too long. There we go. So they need a good old press down. And then we're going to pick it off.
one of the reasons I don't like red liner tape because you get these bits of plastic. Not very environmentally friendly. I'm trying very hard not to use plastic. I won't be buying any more red liner tape when what I've got is run out. So then I'm going to put my colour on. So now making sure it's the right way up. I'm just going to slip that into there. And give it a press. nice good press because I want it to stay stuck so on this bag it's just one single pocket in here the other one I had two pockets there we go and then we've got we can have one coming round that way, one going that way, wrap it round and round again to the front, this one wrap round to the front and then we can and then we'll trim a bit off because it does not need to be that long there we go So that's that. So we need to decorate the front. And I'm going to put some things, something in this pocket. So I've got I've just got a, a check there. This is a Tracy Fox Digital printed on uh, I printed on the back some it's from my avocado stained paper that I did, so I might just chuck that in there. The other thing I quite often do, which I got the idea from um, Yvonne. Preston. Just looking at the thinner sheets of avocado. That's the thinner sheet I've got. It's a bit ripped. I think that might be quite nice. So, I might just chop him in half. Get rid of that burnt bit. Sometimes I dry it off in the oven when I'm dyeing paper, so that's why I've got a little burnt bit there. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking that should just fold in half and go in there. I'm going to just take those holes, trim a little bit off. I was going to take the holes off, but I actually think they're a nice feature. So I'm not going to... Fold it in half. And then just gonna 
around the corners. That makes getting in and out of the envelope easier. And it just looks a bit nicer. So just a bit of journaling. That can go in that envelope. With that little check. And then we could pop something down there as well. Um, don't really have anything to hand. I'll find something. Um, so that's that. This envelope here has got another little check in, another Tracy Fox one, just for a little bit of journaling. I could have put paper in that as well, but I didn't. So that is that bit. So we just need a little a little thing on there. I just did a little tab there with memories. I quite like that. Uh, so I'm going to do something similar. So I had a little thought and my thoughts were that it might look nice to have a big butterfly on the front. So I have cut out um, a black butterfly. Now that's looking a bit lost really. So um, this is from these um, butterfly Brilliant Wings dies, and they go with Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. And so, and then I can cut out, so you can cut out all of the butterflies that you stamp, one big stamp there, and you can cut out these nice ornate butterflies as well. So it's a good set, I do love it. So I've got Starry Sky, which, I thought if I stamp on black and do a little bit distressing, might look good behind. So we need to stamp it. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a big stamp set. I just want the one. So I'm going to use my stamp positioning tool. Still got a little bit of a cough going on there so now i need to take out the foam mat you need the foam mat when you're using photopolymer stamps so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a black ink and i'm just going to stamp that down so i know where I need to put my bit of card. So I'll put that down. There we go. Brilliant. So I stick that there. down is it mm -mm -mm. it's gonna have to go on the outside there and that will go down now yep so ink that up i was going to ink it up i was going to stamp it with like a black lacy thing behind it and then i remembered that i had these butterflies right Let's do it a bit. Let's do some more. Not quite dark enough. And then I think if I do a bit of inking with it as well, it will fit in the middle. It's not quite dark enough that's why I like I find memento sometimes doesn't it takes a couple of goes to stamp it not 
quite happy with that. I mean, you're not going to see a lot of it because it's going to be behind this. But, yeah, liking that. Right, it's a bit wet. So I might give it a little blast with my heat tool to, um, to dry it off. Okay, so that is cut out and uh, so that'll go on top there it's ever so slightly bigger than the other butterfly which i think is quite nice so we've got a little bit of a layer around um so I'm, i think it needs a bit of inking to go on there so i'm gonna I thought I used one of my brushes to be black. No, that's not black, Jess. Thought I had a black one. Is that black? It could be black. Let's make it black. Well, I wonder what it looks like if I try brown on it that might that might work actually a little bit of soft suede on it let's see how that color reacts so I just want to darken it slightly so it blends in a bit better with the background. I think that might be working, Jez. Because actually, if I'd have added black to it, then you wouldn't see the stamping so much. Yeah. adding something there so now I just need I don't know something like journal or something written on there that's what I want a sort of a book plate like like what I've what I've put on the other so I had a little hunt at things I had and I've got these little book plates and I had these um, printed words that I made on a black background. And I thought that might look quite nice. Didn't want the white. Um, so I was experimenting with how to colour it on this one that I managed to rip. And um, I quite like that. So I achieved that by using my stamping blends and colouring on the back so rather than colouring on the front because they're alcohol markers and they will the colour will go through so that it's a bit more subtle was my thoughts so I did Bermuda Bay because that's very similar to that colour there and then I've got Highland Heather here, which is a much lighter purple, but they should blend and mix together a little bit. And we'll get a bit of a, it's not sort of an even colour. Is that coming out? Can't really see. I really can't see what you can see. The mirror ends decided not to work. So I think that kind of looks very similar to what's going on on the background. So I'm just going to colour all the way to the edges because it is changing the colour of the black on the other side. Just so 
some zinc all over. That's better. So that's now very saturated. Oh, I've got some little brads there that took me ages to find. So, we'll um, deal with those in a minute. Right, and so I've got a little bit of um, acetate here that uh, I wanted to slot in as well to give the to give that some protection. So these are just, just from packaging. I just, you know, save everything really. And there was a bit of me that thought, I want to try and colour this. So I think I might take, this is the light light black. I just thought I'd colour this just a little bit. Make it a bit blacker. Than what it is. Don't have to be completely, but I just thought try and make it a bit like what I did with the um I used to brush in when I did my steampunk. I think that's going to do. I don't know what colour these are actually. These are slightly brassy. Um, so I'll probably colour those once they're in. So I need to trim this down. So it will slot in. It'd be a bit big. Take a bit off. Cool. Straighten that up there. So now we can make sure that our bit of paper is the same size. So I'm going to glue this to that, attach this to this before I attach it to that. That's the way we're doing it. Just realised there's a bit of a dye still in there. So now we want to put these brads in here. I might make make the holes with my pokey tool. should go through hopefully there we go and then I can just split it 
hold it in place. There we are. So it is removable if the person wants to put something else in. But uh, there we go. I'm just going to colour those brads. So, just tidy away. So that's that done. So I'm just going to stick it on. And that, I believe, is the last thing. So I've just suddenly thought, I'd probably want to put some tape over where the brads are just to make them doubly secure, which probably would have been better to do before I put the glue on, but never mind. Better late than never. I have been up all night. Put a bit more glue around. Oh, it should be all right. So let's just tie it and then we can see how it looks. So there she is done. So, yep, liking that. So let's do, I think she might be a little bit ski with. <laughs> right, so that's our, our nice cover video on that. I'll link that down below. I'll put it all in a playlist of paper bag journal so that's the the black lace that's the book plate that we've just done it is a little bit not straight actually it's okay and so we have the pocket that was formed by the gusset in the bag these are the tags I made. I think I made these on camera and I just had these clusters ready made and so they're all done in that way. This is um, Tracy Fox, can't remember the kit. And then that's the altered paper clips I made. That's that lovely book page. And then we've got some more Tracy Fox tag fabrication there. I've used a lot of those throughout. Uh, done some stenciling, made some little cluster there. There's an old design shop. It's just paper from my stash. Done the same there. Just added one of those Corey Damon clusters. And I just added a little bit of cheesecloth there at the top. Didn't really want ribbon it in a pocket decided not to add anything else to the pocket there love the way that that's dyed um, this is that um, shorthand typing book I had those are those two little typing pool girls on a little day trip on a little holiday um, I added so I printed off all of these and I put some avocado dyed um, digital paper on the back and I just thought there was quite a nice little 
just a little addition I thought the colours went well and um, that's a little cluster I made ages ago um, in there I think I've got a video on that then we've got some pages there for journaling um, another tag fabrication just adding one of my clusters avocado paper on the back thought the pink went really well a little ticket I thought that that was quite cool to have in there colors were nice just added a little cluster to the pocket and I realized it's the same lady in it hey ho matches I might actually do you know that will annoy me I might flip flip to the back here and um, change her there we go so it's not the same lady now um, yeah love that this is just backed onto craft card not done anything with that other than a bit of ink inking um, it's our paper bag and I just put in there just a little check from that same kit I'm not sure if it was part of tag fabrication can't remember got so many of Tracy Fox's kits a little bit stenciling that paper there which I dithered about what to do with so we've got a bunch of journaling spaces there that's my um, ledger ledger there I just added that there that fitted really well in there and that's um, red cabbage believe it or not even though it's blue that is red cabbage paper and um, goes really well and then these upward tucks just bung these there's a little check there just bung that up there thought that was cute fits up there nicely that one there that's tobacco just like the way that just slipped right something on there and then we're going back the other way downhill all all very similar in here I've got another another bit of that I just added a little bit of extra distressing to it it's 120 GSM paper there that tags the same as the one before just see me I changed her over no I didn't yeah I did and um, got a little letter there might be writing home on her little travels here so yeah I just added these are real stamps and then I just added a little sort of postmark thing same on this side that one's got a butterfly there's some more Tracy Fox stuff I think that's weathered ephemera um yeah just a little little bit of that and then we've got the other side of that page there I did take that other tag out I said I might I did I just left it at that and a little bit of a little bit of ephemera similar little cluster going on down there marrying up the greens um this is the same as the other side in there and then on this one I did have two tags in here I thought it was too much just put a little cluster there I think I made those on video ages ago just another little check and a little tag there I don't need that now really but I quite like it um actually I don't like it on that side I might I might put it on this side Yeah, we'll put it there. So that's me little flip out. So there's me little tag there. That I had that little cluster and then I added that ticket and that because it went with the colours just on craft card. And then that little envelope. We've got a little check there for writing on. I've got a video on making these 
as well. I have put nothing in there. I will do. So in there we've got another check for writing on. We've got a bit of the paper there for writing on. That could go down there. And we could just leave the check in here. Actually, could add more. There is room to grow if you want to add things. Got plenty, plenty of tie there. If uh, if you want to add more tickets, memorabilia, ephemera that you collect, and then we we'll just. Tie a nice big bow, and that is my paper bag journal. So that's the original, and that's the one I've just made. Pulling the mess in from my desk. There we go. Nobody saw that. And that is the other version. So I hope you like that. Do like and subscribe. I will link to the other videos. So I've got a video making the cover. I've got a video on sewing the um, signatures in. I've got a long video on putting all the pages and the pockets and the tags and everything together. And this was the, the, the final one with the flip through. So... See you all again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and um, yeah, I'll link to anything that I've used that's available in my shop. And there's a link down below for my coffee site if you wish to buy me a coffee. And the fact that I've been up all night, I really need a coffee right now. Or I should just go to bed, I guess, shouldn't I? <laughs> all right then. Bye.